Using mainly Python and various OCR techniques, I created a little application that is capable of helping a teamfight tactics player make statistically sound decisions quickly. TFT is a game that is heavily centered around selection of augments, which often dictate the line or build that a player might follow for the rest of the game. This simple tool that I have created for myself mainly assists in making decisions on two fronts. First of all, it takes a look at the augment selection and provides you up-to-date ranking of each augment, basing it on average placing of all players when they've selected that augment. Secondly, it is capable of helping you scan your board and provide a an early game composition that you could aim for based on your champions and items available, along with a link to what a final composition might look like. This feature is mostly designed to be useful in the early game when you don't quite know the patch that well and need help to pick strong starters, or if you need help with direction. Before going through the techniques I used to create this application, I wanted to quickly touch on how I got the idea to make this little project. A couple of weeks ago, Teamfight Tactics reignited my competitive juices once again as I attempted to relearn a game I hadn't touched in quite a while. I set out a goal to reach the master rank, which I managed to achieve not long ago. Along the way, I try to use a lot of the free resources that are available to players online. MetaTFT is a website that most TFT players are very familiar with, and it provides up-to-date live data on the best compositions on a current patch, along with other useful information such as best items for each character and augment rankings. On top of this, many top players also provide their take on the meta, and I ended up referring to this player's sheet quite a lot on my journey to master. However, when using a sheet like this, especially in the beginning, it was very difficult for me to review my own board and try to cross match that against, say, the early slash mid compositions column that this player suggests. Reading a sheet and making decisions in a timely manner without missing your turn was a stressful ordeal. Similarly, trying to manually search for an augment on meta TFT was difficult as well, and all I'd really get is an average place number which wouldn't really tell me that much. So I decided to use these two resources, but to automate some of the process in terms of the manual inputs that I would have to do to acquire the information. When it comes to augments, I was more interested in where a certain augment ranked in relation to all the other augments, more than anything else. Average place is obviously a good metric to sort the augments but there's no option on the website to see where it actually ranks. So I decided to start with a script that would scrape this information, write it into a CSV file, and then my program could refer to that CSV file anytime we ran it. Scraping the page proved to be a little bit tricky because it is loaded dynamically with JavaScript and table entries appear and disappear from the HTML based on where the user is on the page. Eventually, after familiarizing myself with how the information is loaded into the page, I managed to concoct a script that would emulate this behavior and extract the augment information correctly. I would then have the script add a number to each row just so I know the ranking of that particular augment. I then modified my program with an augments button, which when clicked would have a pop-up window appear with the ranking. This pop-up window would simply read the predetermined coordinates where the augment names appear, cross-reference those against our imported CSV file and then provide the ranking. Obviously for this to work, the program would have to not obstruct the augment names so having it on your second monitor would be better. Figuring out how to provide compositional tips was significantly harder. Similarly here, I copied the information on the table and used the Google API to read in the information into a CSV file. Whenever the application starts, a bunch of composition objects would be initiated in memory based on the rows that I found relevant. Then I decided that I wanted to provide the compositional suggestions mostly based on how many champions on my board and in my shop coincide with the suggested early and mid game compositions in the table. Naturally, this logic is something I could pretty easily change or expand upon to provide better suggestions, and I could also add my own compositions to my CSV file whenever I wanted. Figuring out how to scan in my board was a little tricky. I tried solving it with some computer vision template matching, but it proved to be pretty inaccurate and inconsistent due to the fact that we're reading in 3D models, which are not always consistent due to various animations. The solution that I came up with, which is perhaps a little more tedious but not all that time consuming, was the following. When you click the start button, two things happen. 
First, the names of the heroes in the shop are scanned in and put through the easy OCR reader, which in turn extracts the name of each hero and adds it to a list. Next, the program starts listening for right clicks. As soon as the user presses the right click button on their mouse, a screenshot of the screen is taken and it is added to a queue for processing. Through some template matching, the script isolates the hero card, finds the name, and converts the image to a text string. It does this for each time that the user presses the right click button. All in all, clicking on each hero usually only takes about a second or two. We then match our available champions list to the early game column and provide suggestions based on how many matches we got. It was important for me to make the program more visual than an actual spreadsheet for it to actually have a purpose so that I could process the information more quickly. To accomplish this, I added icons for each hero and item component and added gray overlay over those that the user was missing before presenting it. Naturally, there would also be a hyperlink for each composition showing what we we're ultimately aiming for in the end. Once the user is done scanning their board and presses stop, you get the suggested compositions pretty much immediately. All in all, this was a relatively fun tool to work on as it involved some creative problem solving. I only started developing this once I had already reached master, at which point I had generally memorized most of the early game lines, making it perhaps less helpful for me personally. Still, it certainly feels like a tool that can be useful, especially when coming back to the game after a long break and feeling like you need some guidance. In hindsight, there could certainly be some better ways to solve the board scanning, even without training an AI model. Something I thought of after I was done was to potentially template match against champions icons on each hero card rather than converting the image to text which in theory should improve accuracy perhaps in the future this is something i will try to further optimize that being said thank you for watching the video and have a good one